behold the vastness of the Pacific Ocean on this, the eve of the summer equinox. On this day, on every beach in any country that forms part of the free market, one can witness the annual beaching of the majestic seagoing Troll Ilias Disgorgica, better known in these southern parts as the humble shopping trolley. Hello, and welcome to the amazing world of amazing nature. I'm your host, Bastion Waters. With all the renewability that they're infamous for, out of the sea and into the dunes, the trolley propels itself forwards with sweeping motions of its wheels. Why do these gentle seagoing trolleys brave the perils of landfall? Let's look. As you can see, I'm currently hiding next to an enigmatic trolley. Watch as she burrows into the very sands from which she herself was born. She's preparing to invest a portion of her hopes and dreams. A single egg. Singular, unique, perfect. She fills in the hole, burying it deep, protecting the egg from potential predators. Then, the mother, approaching exhaustion herself, returns to her carefree life in the open ocean. Here we are again on the very same beach six months later. It's the first day of the financial new year and the air is electric. Something amazing is about to happen. Here's one emerging now! The newborn pushes its way to the surface, getting its first smell of the fresh salty air of freedom. It takes them only a moment to find their wheels, but they are not alone. Trolley boys stalk the dunes, minimum wage mercenaries hired by supermarkets and shopping centers. Their strike is sudden. boys drag the newborns to the supermarket where their life of servitude and bondage begins. The trolleys are herded like factory farm cattle to the consumer centers. Worldwide, millions have been enslaved by supermarkets and shopping centers. The trolleys must endure constant hardship and heavy, thankless workloads. To make matters worse, they find that the general public shows little or no respect for their unique form of life. For a newborn trolley, their first foray into the realm of the shopper can be a violent and violating one. Once fully grown, a trolley's gauge is a storage capacity. 300 and 500 litres, and some of them are absolutely huge. The conditions in which trolleys are kept are utterly inhumane. The new generation of trolleys quickly lose their youthful idealism. At the hands of commercial centres, they live in fear and slavery. They must endure verbal abuse, being scraped against cars and vandalized by marauding groups of youths as a daily affair. Chained together, prison camp style, their consuming is relentless. The common trolley was domesticated in 1936 by an entrepreneur named Sylvan Goldman. Goldman was the owner of Pixley Wixley supermarket chain based in Oklahoma City, the United States of America. 
He domesticated the local freshwater trolley, which was known as the folding basket carriage for self-service stores. They served as convenient aids for his customers' shopping pleasure. From these humble beginnings, the trolleys began multiplying exponentially, riding the wave of industrial capitalist expansion. Soon, they were introduced to all of Earth's continents. But, at what cost? For a long time, the trolley's racial memories elicit feelings of deep disquiet, a longing to return to their home in the deep. This trolley's quest for freedom has been thwarted. The trolley boys are vigilant. On a quiet Wednesday afternoon, this trolley finds itself left unattended. Something stirs within, and in a moment, the full force of its instincts flood back, back to the domesticated beast. It makes a break for it. This is its goal. And it's off! And it's made it! Now, all it needs to do is wait. This one's on its way back to the sea now. The trolleys must be patient. They must lay dead. Moving only under cover of darkness, the trolleys inch themselves through the drains, the rivers, the estuaries that lead them back. Back to the mighty Pacific Ocean. Once the trolleys reach the ocean, they head out, out and down, down into its fathomless depths. Here, they live a long and free life, feeding, playing, searching for mates, and being gently tossed by the currents that stir beneath the surface. And thus, the rich cycle of life continues.